Hi everyone, ah, Anthony, ah, Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Ski Mask the Slump God album, Stoke Stokely. This is the new commercial debut album of Ski Mask the Slump God, whose work I've covered a few times up until this point because I think his voice, his flow, his lyrics are some of the most unique in the SoundCloud scene at the moment. I guess if you could even call it that anymore. His voice is kind of husky with a light rasp. He's not afraid to lose it on the mic too when he needs to. His flow is visceral, it's speedy, occasionally dizzying. His bars are consistently crazy crude, hilarious, and kind of absurd, with numerous references to games and bodily functions and cartoon shows, like Spongebob and Danny Phantom and <laughs> Ben 10. And my favorite anime too! Drake and Jash. Really anything to sound weird and get a rise out of his audience, even lace his tracks full of these very zany ad-libs. What's been holding me back from loving a Ski Mask project up until this point, though, has been his mixtape's brevity and inconsistency. But since this album is Ski Mask's official commercial debut record, I was kind of hoping he would go a little bigger, pull out all the stops, and resolve some of the underwhelming issues that I've had with his projects in the past. Unfortunately though, Stokely is every bit as much a mixed bag as its predecessors. Despite Ski Mask's best efforts to draw this record out a little bit and vary up its style and sound. First off, this thing is 32 minutes long, which is not the longest record in the world, but certainly feels like a marathon by Ski Mask the Slump God standards. And even though he does shoot for some longer song lengths on this thing, there are a few tracks that actually reach the three minute mark, these songs actually end up being some of my least favorite on the record. Meanwhile, other cuts on here like Get Geeked feel more like a rough, sketchy idea for a song more than it does an actual song. Though for me, brevity is not the biggest issue when it comes to Ski Mask's music, mostly because his flow and his lyrics are so eccentric that they leave a pretty huge impact in a short amount of time. What's more disappointing on this album is seeing Ski Mask essentially creatively paint himself into a corner on a handful of tracks that feel utterly by the numbers, or tracks that totally fall flat as he tries to step outside of his comfort zone. I'm talking about the intro track on this thing where he tries to pull off this moany, spacious, atmospheric, moody, trap thing. I mean, it's 2018, we've heard dozens of artists attempt this sound at this point. However, in this instance, it feels like it takes forever for the song to even begin and even develop. By the time it's over, I, I really don't feel like I've heard much of anything other than just elongated filler. The vocals are really sloppily executed. This sound is really not in Ski Mask's wheelhouse, so why he would go at it for so long and start his new album off with it, I really have no idea. And sadly, this is not the only time on this album where he goes in this direction. The song Save Me Part 2 sounds like a buttery blend of pop, trap, and R&B. And personally, I don't really think Ski Mask's voice, his personality, his flow really fits over this ultra-slick style of production. It really sounds more fit for a Chris Brown song. Granted, the other two tracks that shoot for a more melodic style are not nearly as bad. The song You and I, as well as Far Gone with Little Baby, but I wouldn't call either of them highlights. Meanwhile, almost a third of this album contains tracks that could have landed on Ski's two previous mixtapes and just got lost in the haze because they sound so utterly average. A somewhat left field trap beat, a kind of forgettable hook, a few funny quotables here and there, like I be on they ass like a fucking bike seat. I'm talking about tracks like Adults Swim and Unbothered and Get Geeked, as well as the closing track Cat Piss with Little Yachty, uh, which was kind of disappointing. I thought that him and Yachty would have a bit more chemistry on this cut. It's not nearly as exciting as seeing Ski and Juice World totally go off on the song Nuketown. The performances on this track are some of the punkest shit I've heard on a trap beat in 2018. And as long as we're talking highlights on here, I have to mention the song Foot Fungus, which has one of the weirdest and funkiest beats on the entire record, which combined with the elongated on the hook, the track essentially sounds like SoundCloud's answer to Snoop Dogg and Pharrell's Drop It Like It's Hot. The flow that Ski Mask shows off on the hook also kind of leads me to this conclusion. The song La La is also a highlight on here. It sounds like one of the incredibly in-your-face, aggressive, overblown bangers that sort of put Ski Mask and Tentacion on the map earlier in their careers. The Ronnie J beat on this cut is pretty simple but effective, as the selling point to the song is really how over-the-top and animalistic Ski Mask sounds on the beat. Not some of his best verses on the entire record though, most of them just come off as uh, really edgy without enough levity. The song Reborn to Rebel is another highlight on the record, but mostly for its banger beat and sing-along hook. The lyrics have this weird faux revolutionary tone that kind of read like, I don't know, 
giving a middle finger to the White House on top of a dune buggy, spinning donuts while the country is just submerged into a nationwide riot. It's wild, it's fun, it's edgy, it's free, but, um, you know, it do doesn't really provide much else outside of that. The song Faucet Failure is one of the weirdest surprises on this thing. For the most part, it sounds like another piece of weirdo trap from Ski Mask, but then certain passages incorporate what sounds like a reggaeton beat, but somehow it really works and kind of keeps things refreshing. I mean, overall, this record isn't awful, but it's still kind of a letdown, because at this point in Ski Mask's career, I was kind of hoping that he would totally just kill it, surprise me, come into his own a little bit more, and define himself as just kind of being a cut above as a lot of the other artists who he's currently in competition with. And sure, while some of his best material is on this record, some of his worst tracks are too. As again, there are quite a few songs on here for him that feel really predictable, not all that memorable, or are just totally lackluster attempts at trying to change things up. So even though I came away from this record liking more songs than I didn't, for sure, I still don't really feel like this project is a true display of Ski Mask's full potential. And, uh, you know, that's sad. I'm feeling a light six on this thing. Transition. Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best. You're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Ski Mask the Slump God, forever.